So now, when when you think about life, you you and and you examine life. If you yourself are gonna, if if you examine life and you yourself come along and and would like to uh, believe that we will live forever in the flesh, then just like His Majesty said, that education which ignores man's intrinsic nature and neglects his reasoning power cannot be considered true education. You see, because we all know that, you know, we, we can't live forever in the flesh. Man, man, man was not created that way for us to live forever like that. So, it is time. The time has come. The time has come for us to put away our idols and for us to follow his majesty. Follow his philosophy. Because everything else is a devil philosophy. You see, His Majesty never said that God, that God never said that we will live forever in the flesh. Even when the Bible talks about how God is eternal, let's go to Isaiah, Isaiah chapter, chapter 45. No, I'm sorry. Let's go to Isaiah, Isaiah 57. Isaiah 57 Isaiah 57 verse 15 it says for thus says the high and lofty one that inhabits eternity e eternity whose name is holy I dwell in the high and holy places right with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite one so when it talks about eternity and and when it talks about I I I dwell in a, in a holy place. This holy place, as as is said on, on the seventh day, to be holy as as He is holy, is an understanding. I dwell in eternity again. Is the word of God that God is forever, but that doesn't mean that He's gonna live forever in the flesh. Because man, to see if you believe that, if you know that Holy Selassie is God, and you accept His message then his majesty clearly said that he was he he is like everyone else he is a, he is a man he's mortal he will he will be replaced and that's what happened mengistu came along a a genocidal maniac who who killed everybody who he who he uh, who looked at him wrong anybody and everybody he he went along and just massacred the whole nation so what happened with Haile Selassie they found his remains and uh, he was he was buried in the year in the year 2000, and and it's a sad it's a sad story it's a sad story what happened uh, with, with with the death because it was it was unnecessary. Uh, Mengistu Mengistu de deceives the Ethiopians for his own personal personal reasons, for him for him to gain political power. And he used that once he got political power. He used it to his his advantage to quell any kind of revolts by by violence, and also to spread lies and propaganda about the works that Haile Selassie has done. So, all I can tell you, my friends, is that His Majesty is, is God. You know, I can't I can't change history. I would like for it to be different. But that is what happened. Uh, Mengistu came into power and killed Haile Selassie. They found the remains. It's, it's a fact. Me, myself, I know from reading Proverbs chapter 1 that the fear of the Lord means that you must accept accept the Lord. You can't, you can't come to God believing that, that, that you can make up your own philosophy and, 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 and you can become the Savior. The fear of the Lord means you come to Him for the understanding. And from him, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. From him, then you will get the true knowledge. So I can't go to Haile Selassie and, and go and, 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 and think that I can impose my philosophy upon him. If, if his majesty made it this way, then, then that's the way it is. Now, when the, student, when the students was revolting, his majesty said the Lord's will will be done. And nobody can stop that. And that's what happened. So that's, so that's, so that's what it is. Now the truth, the truth is that if you would study, if you would study what happened with Haile Selassie and the Dirk for what it is and not for what you want it to be, there's a lot of lessons that came from that. There's a lot of lessons to be learned from that. And one of those lessons I will tell you is that 
you must put your trust in God and not try to please please other people. So no matter what you feel about me, it doesn't really matter. The what what matters is that we accept God. And and accepting God means that we accept his message and his majesty's message was a very real, realistic message. It was not a superstitious message and it did not it did not lead us into darkness. It led it, his message will lead you to the light. Reality. He his majesty was a realistic, educated, highly educate, educated and rational human being because he is God the savior. And 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 the salvation is real. The word is real. Right? So now I will also like to quote to you his majesty's speech where he said spiritual power is the is the eternal guide in this life and the life after right so now his majesty said in this life and the life after now i don't know what happens when we when we die right so i don't know what's going to happen in the life after i don't know what happens before we are born you see that's not those things was never given to man for us to understand because that's not the focus the focus is on life his majesty came and he was a hard working person he worked 20 hours a day to to focus on life you must get the most out of your life right you must work hard as majesty was hard raise your family you know do well at your career try to be as comfortable as prosperous as you can this is your life this is what we have this is what you must focus on now what happens before we was born and what happens after we die remains a mystery. That is not the message. That is not the message of Christ. The message of Christ and our eternal our eternal guide and our our eternal life is the word, the message, not the not the flesh. It's not the flesh that we must look at. Let's also let's also go to John. John chapter 6 John chapter 6 verse 63 and in John chapter 6 verse 63 it says it is the spirit that quickens the flesh profits nothing the words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life so let us not focus on the flesh for the flesh it profits nothing his Majesty is the Almighty. No matter what happened in 1975, so when they say Rasta, your yeah, God is dead, we know that our God is eternal. But it's not in the flesh that He is eternal. It is the Spirit which is eternal. We know that the Word is the Spirit. We know that the Word is God, and we know that Haile Selassie the First is God forevermore. And if we choose to follow his principles, and if we choose to accept his philosophy, then this message and and the true this message which his Majesty ha has given us should should not be hard to accept. And what happened in 1975 should not be hard to understand. His Majesty was killed, but he still is God. God was born. God lived. God died in the flesh because he did everything by natural means. It doesn't take away anything from his divinity. We must, we must understand that the message is not a superstitious message for us as men to, to live forever in the flesh. What happens in the life after, only God knows. We will see. We will see because all of us will die. We will see what happens, but we know that God has revealed Himself to the world. That as it as it is written in Revelation chapter one verse twenty, as it's written in First Timothy uh, chapter three verse sixteen, God has showed His face. From Him you will find the message. So you study His Majesty. From Him, from Him He will answer all your questions. Blessed is the Almighty God, King of Ethiopia, the Eternal God, lives forevermore. And Brahali I, Selassie I the first.